Uh, is this the day we were going to have our picnic? said Mr. Rusty. Yes, it is, said Florence. Have you got everything? Uh, everything? said Mr. Rusty. Yes, for the picnic, said Florence. Oh, oh, yes, the picnic, said Mr. Rusty. And he went away, mumbling. They waited for him. I hope you've remembered the corkscrew, said Zebedee. But if that's all you forget, it should be a great success. Off you go. So they went. Dougal was ready for the picnic. Got everything, he said. Corkscrew? No one ever remembers a corkscrew. Well, we've remembered, said Florence. And a tablecloth, said Dougal. I'm not eating off the bare ground, you know. I've got to have a tablecloth. Damask. None of your plastic. Oh, come on, said Florence. Mr. Rusty wasn't sure they'd remembered everything. I feel sure there's something, he said. I've remembered the salt and pepper, said Brian. I am the most useful and resourceful of snails, you must admit. All together now, for he's a jolly good fellow. Now that'll do, Brian, said Florence. Sorry, said Brian. Now, we'll here do, said Florence. Any ants, said Dougal. I can't abide an ant. We're not all here yet, said Mr. Rusty, waving the corkscrew. Ermintrude arrived. Oh, I love a picnic, she mooed. It's so lovely eating out of doors. What is she on about, said Dougal. She always eats out of doors. It's a well-known habit of cows, eating out of doors. I'll bet no one's remembered a corkscrew, said Ermintrude, and salt and pepper. Oh, yes, we have, said Mr. Rusty and Brian. So there. Dylan arrived. I've uh, brought these cushions for the picnic, he said, because I feel everyone should be like, uh, comfortable, ma'am. Comfort is very important at picnics. <coughs> Mr. McHenry had brought all sorts of useful things like knives and forks and spoons and plates and vases of flowers and placemats. No finger bowls, said Dougal. Florence took the cushions. Uh, nearly ready, said Dylan. Uh, then I'll arrive. Looks very pretty, said Brian. And Dougal and Florence agreed. And so did Mr. Rusty and Ermintrude. Very pretty, they said. There's uh, just one thing, said Dylan. Did anyone bring any, like, uh, food? Food? said Mr. McHenry. I don't think I can bear it, said Dougal. And they all realised they'd forgotten to bring the food. We're all soppy, said Brian. No one can possibly realise how humiliated I feel, said Dougal. <laughs>